Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel and today we are checking out So I Married an Axe Murderer. This is another Mike Myers movie and this one was highly recommended after I watched the Austin Powers franchise. I really loved the Austin Powers franchise. I thought that Mike Myers was hilarious in it. I thought he had such a good grasp of comedy and just how to make situations super super funny and even though the humor was really dumb and stupid it was still like intellectual at the same time in, in terms of you could see how much thought was put into the humor and so I really appreciated that aspect of those movies. I've also seen Wayne's World, another Mike Myers movie which I've absolutely loved and of course in one of the Austin Powers movies I said it would be great if Mike Myers could be Scottish in a movie and I just totally forgot about Shrek. I love, I love Shrek so I really enjoy Mike Myers. I've seen him in The Cat in the Hat as well which I watched a lot as a kid so I have some nostalgia for that movie but I've never seen this one and I'm really excited to check it out. And before we get into this reaction, let me do the lighting. So let me turn on the light and we can decide what color it should be. Boop. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, so I don't really know what the color is going to be today, but I'm going to go pink. And I'm going pink because I was going to go red because axe murderer blood, I'm assuming. You know, stuff like that, even though this is a comedy movie. I don't know if it's a parody movie or just like a comedy movie. But I was going to go red for blood. And then I thought, you know, I think pink is a funnier color for blood. So <laughs> that's why I'm going pink today. And if you'd like to check out more of my reactions, you can head over to my Patreon. I have uncut reactions to many of the movies I watch on YouTube, as well as early access reactions to my movies that come out one week early. Thank you so much if you check it out. Now let's get back to the video. Okay, I'm excited to see what this Mike Myers movies has in store. I had never really heard about this one before until one of my friends told me about it first and I was like, okay, it sounds pretty good because she said it was pretty good. And then a lot of people on the YouTube comments for the Austin Powers movie said I should check this one out as well. So hopefully it is a really good, fun, enjoyable movie, Mike Myers movie. I'm just hoping that Mike Myers is funny in this movie. I mean, obviously he's probably going to be because I really like his style of humor, but still, I'm hoping. So anyways, let's get into it. I hope you enjoy my reaction to So I Married an Axe Murderer. Mike Myers, I'm so excited for this man. There she goes again. Ooh, the guitar. Guys, I'm the coffee cup. I'm the coffee cup. I've always wanted to be a coffee cup. I'm no longer the coffee cup. I'm the coffee cup again. <laughs> the stoplight. Ah, oh my god, I'm, I was a Mike Myers coffee cup. Uh, so, Tony, what's the deal with your clothes? Yeah, <laughs> fair enough. Good question. No, look hip. No, 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 no. You look like an undercover cop trying to look hip. <laughs> and whom I inflicted great destruction upon while having a panic attack aboard the mothership. That is the longest title of all time. You may need a rework. Tony, I told you already, all right? She's a thief. What? You don't honestly Why? believe she, did, did she steal your heart? Listen, to this day, I still don't know where my cat is. Oh, she stole your cat? She didn't tell me what she did for a living. Charlie, she was unemployed. She didn't have a job. Oh, well, that's just the perfect cover. <laughs> She smelled like soup. <laughs> she smelled like soup. What does that even mean? What type of soup? What does that mean? She smelled yeah, exactly. exactly. What does that like mean? Vegetables. Oh, he answered all my questions. Thank you, Charlie. Let's hear it for our own Mr. Charlie McKenzie. Charlie, Charlie, Ch oh yeah, Charlie, Charlie, Charlie. He was a thief. You got a belief. She stole my heart and my cat. <laughs> so she still did steal his heart. Crazy thing. Called love. <laughs> that was smooth, Mike. That was smooth. I bet that store is a good place to meet people. Oh, it looks like he's actually gonna meet someone here. <laughs> no pun intended that time. Do they know each other previously? Has he gone to that store often or is that his first time? Interesting. Sean Connery, Sean, 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 Sean. Wait, that's just Mike Myers but old, isn't it? I swear that's Mike Myers in costume. See, I that was wrong. A Scottish person would never say soccer. They'd say football. They would say football. Hey, Charlie. Hey, William. How's it going? 
All right, give your mother a kiss and I'll kick you. <laughs> that definitely is Mike. Society of the five wealthiest people in the world, known as the Pentaveret. Mm. Yeah, well known. It's well known. Hammered. The Queen, the Vatican, the Gettys, oh, what the, the Rothschilds. Heck? I'm watching this, and today as I'm watching this, the Queen passed away. It's an addictive chemical in this chicken that makes you crave it fortnightly, smart ass. <laughs> I love this guy. Oh, magic what? Well, let's have a look at the replay. No, the kid's in the way. Look at the size of that boy's head. Shh. I'm not kidding. It's like an orange on a toothpick. <laughs> it's a virtual planetoid. Shh. Has its own weather system. <laughs> I love this guy. Not Sherry. I like Sherry. What if Sherry is an axe murderer? All right, hen. Heed. Paper. No. Move this that. kid is a child slave. And this paper has the eighth highest circulation in the whole wide world. It doesn't mean it contains facts. But pregnant man gives birth. <laughs> That's real. That's real. I heard about that too the other day. She marries men under fake identities. And then she murders. Whoa, that's actually so cool. Victim number two, a Russian martial arts expert. No. No, not him. Uh, you're Celtic United on baby. Ah, uh, he's a Celtic fan. Okay, okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that was some kiss. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, this woman, this woman, the meat woman, is gonna be the butcher, the axe murderer. Unless there's a plot twist and this is what the movie wants you to think, but actually his mom is the axe murderer. Being a cop. You know, it's, it's not like how it is on TV. It never is. I'm just a cop. I've never, I've never like chased a guy across a crowded city square. I bet you're going to be chasing this woman, the axe murderer woman. I'm Starsky and Hodge. You know where you come in and you haul me into your office and you bo You want a mean boss? Oh yeah, she's the axe murderer, all right. <laughs> I just, I actually hope she isn't the murderer, you know, because the movie's alluding to it so much. One New York strip steak, a quarter inch steak. That's all I want. Okay, that's all he wants, that's all he wants. <laughs> he just looked at the camera. <laughs> I love the fourth wall breaks. Nobody's looking at her as well, I guess, but he was looking at me too. I want to believe it. <laughs> I like that. I like that alien reference. I feel like this store would be so much fun to go to. What is that woman ordering? Those are the longest pieces of meat ever. Is she ordering just legs? That was a good day. Are they on a date now? Nice. Evidently you think of me as a woman friend. And what is He's like, did I get paid? Am I an employee? Well, I've done bad things. But let's talk about you for a second. Tell me one bad thing that you- I've killed three men. That you would say it was evil. Like it's the fruits of the devil. He just went into like Dr. Evil mode for a second. Brutal is a very subjective word. I mean, what's brutal to one person might be- She has to be, right? She has to be the murderer. She didn't even answer your question. I would be so sketched out at that. I'd be like, red flag, red flag. Answer my question, please. I am coming. <laughs> Expand. <laughs> Expand. I love that she's okay with his energy. Breast size. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I like how their energies just match. It's great. Hey, you know what this place needs? A really large oversized poster of Atlantic City. <laughs> oh, there it is. Oh, look, you go. <laughs> I love it. I used to live there. So herbal teas, um... See, if she keeps moving around though, she has a lot of stuff here. The weapons? The weapons? What's this? Oh, is that oh, the martial arts uh, instructor? Uh, the, her trophies. I had a friend, uh, he, he was a... Oh, you had a friend? Yeah, I don't, it's a martial arts... And she speaks Russian, he was a Russian martial artist. I like to boogie. Hmm. <laughs> I'll make the tea then. It was the word boogie. Using the word boogie sealed the deal for him. I just don't think it's a good idea to 
rush into spending the night. I want to spend the night. That's so mature of him. I have no problem with that. So mature of him, and then he's just like, I have no problem. <laughs> oh, he's so funny. Ralph! Ralph! Who is this Ralph guy? She's my friend. Ralph. She. She's your friend. <laughs> exactly. I don't remember if they said the names of the people who were killed, but I wonder if Ralph was one of them. No! Ah, I'm sorry! I thought you were somebody else, sorry! She was just okay with that. I thought those two legs w were a person. Hi! Hi. Who is this, Ralph? I'm Harriet. Why are your feet so dirty? And Konakar. Well, that sounds great. What if she's the murderer and the other lady is just covering for her? She didn't stop here, though. <clears throat> she didn't speak of me? No, not at all. Actually, she kind of shouted, Ralph. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that funny? Why is that funny? <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> I love his faces. My name is John Johnson, but everyone here calls me Vicky. Will you please follow me? He seems so enthusiastic about this. It's come to be known as Times Square. Make sure everyone gets a look. Kind of a cool name, actually. All you have to know is that Harriet is a sweet, kind, and loving person. Who murders people with axes. Knife or shiv and cut out the bitch's eye. Oh, oh, that's so disgusting. This way to the cafeteria. Why? Why was that so necessary? Why was he so robotic about that? I don't like it. See, these guys are actually so good together, but I don't want her to be playing, but I think she is playing with him. Seems like he's getting along with the family. No, wait, wait, Hello! Hello! I have a good one, I have a good one! Your first bite, and under the steak is a scabby bandage. No! Oh, that's so disgusting. Being electrocuted. <laughs> that's, that's, no. That's, no, there's no creativity there. Hi, can we get our check, please? Thanks. Thanks a lot. I want to go. I want to go. Pick up the check. No infinity. Come on. No, 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 no. 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 Negatory, on. good buddy. You're embarrassing me. Negatory, good buddy. <laughs> negatory. He's saying negatory. Pick up the chair. Uh, okay. <laughs> they just let her do it? Okay. I mean, they stayed together forever. Forever. Oh, uh, and he's scared of marriage, right? So that might have scared him a little bit. I'm so excited to see the dad again. I totally forgot the dad lives here. <laughs> ah, 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 I give! I give! I'm Charlie's father! <laughs> Why would you expect someone to fight you in this household? Put your trousers on. All right, hold your horses. Heat, pants, now! This child, <laughs> this child may better be getting paid. Are you away to crap again? The dartboard with the queen on it. The murderer, the murderer, the murderer. The pieces are connecting. What's I want to I want to know what one of their names is. I want to know if one of them was called Ralph. Ralph, plumber Ralph Elliot. Oh my God. Oh, what if it? I hope it's just a coincidence. I really want it to be just a coincidence because I think that would be hilarious. Why was that so scary? Why was that so terrifying? No, uh, actually, it was Miami. Oh, heart drop. I think I'm dating Mrs. X. Charming. You're making up excuses again. I don't know if he is this time. Two words. Therapy. That's one word. What's the second? Charlie, you're just getting scared. Yes. Yeah, you think that Harry could be- but What are the odds that she lived in all three of those cities and saw a martial art expert and knew a Ralph? There are so many coincidences. Reach that all too critical, do you know the words to only you phase in our- <laughs> That's a pretty critical one, I gotta say. Good, good, come on. Just one current affair, not multiple. There's only one happening. A scourge which seems to be reaching into every home. Whoa. For you. What is it? 
It's a health shake. Oh, what if it's poisonous? It's making you just take a sip, then take one little sip. Just try it. One little sip. Wait, hurry, take it. That's not the bathroom. Yikes. That's rough. Sensitive. I, I, I mean, I, you didn't drink my shake. So. I would also be mad if someone did drink my shake. And I made, it took 20 minutes to make them. Because I could tell you anything in the world. And you don't judge me. Charlie. I murdered three people. Their lives. I mean, look at us, Charlie. Look at us. We're sleeping. And look how vulnerable we are. Why are you saying this? Why are you saying this? Mm. Stick a needle in your- <laughs> Yeah, that would actually terrify me. I'd be like, I still don't know you enough. Jesus! I'm just trying to show you what a good relationship we have! Why would you say it? Why would you word it like that, though? Why would you word it like that? Also, needles in the ear? Ooh! Oh, good night. Good night. This hurts me to watch. I don't think she's the murderer anymore. I don't think she is. There's another one here, a native San Francisco. Plumber. Elliot. Ralph. Mm. Oh! Oh! Guy takes his job too seriously, life goes down the drain. <laughs> <laughs> He's actually pretty good at the jokes, I won't lie. You see me so urgently. Can you come to my apartment? It's just safer here. Yeah, public area. I'm afraid that you're gonna k leave me. Say it, kill me, say it. Do a preemptive strike. So you're rejecting me? Before you've even been rejected. Because I gotta get back to work. Oh, this is rough. This is rough. This is a lot more like serious in tone than I thought it was going to be. There's a lot of comedy, don't get me wrong, there's a lot of comedy. But it's a lot more drama filled, and I, I really enjoy it. Whoa, man! Whoa! Dude, he's hiding, what, hiding? Riding the high of this song. You still miss her though. Interesting, candles on. The love is still there. Wait, that's such a nice view. What the heck? I'd totally read the paper on that rooftop. Somebody just turned themselves in for the murder of Ralph Elliott. <laughs> what is that dance? I don't know if my insurance is going to cover it, but I'll talk to the guy and... What is it, Charlie? I just... Oh my god, that's so scary. Rose, man, you're so scary. I don't want to lose you. You didn't. You rejected me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm unrejecting you. You can't just unreject someone. I love you. Oh. I love you too. But you blew it, Charlie. Oh. You blew it. Oh. Oh, I didn't expect that. Oh my days. Is he gonna have his own routine on the rooftop by himself or is it an audience or what? Hard hearted harbinger of haggis. Beautiful. I would close the windows. Except the passion of his heart. I am lonely. <laughs> I love him. The confidence, the walk, the swagger. Funny she closes the curtains on him. Well, she did not close the curtains on him, did she? Yes, and could you bring the car around? <laughs> Thank you so much. Bye-bye. How does he think of all these things? Charlie, come here. I want you to meet a friend of mine. This is Ralph. <gasps> no way Ralph actually exists. I'm naked, aren't I? Um, yes. Yes, you are naked. <laughs> Why is she touching? Why is she touching? <laughs> the dad, the dad, the dad. I love him. May and I were married. Some of you were there. Some of you weren't. Born. And some of you are now dead. <laughs> Still love you. She's looking at him. She's looking at him. Marry me. No. Whoa. We could just live together at first and let's just live together. Because I love Maybe the sister or Ralph kills people. We should spend the next And she doesn't want to marry any of the next people. I want you. Because she knows he'll die. But if they're not married, that sounds like an awful lot of children. I don't know what's happening. 
Am I thinking way too hard for this movie? Probably. I'd like to make a toast to my son Charlie. Yay! And I hope you have the same great 30 years that we've had. Oh, that's actually so nice. To Charlie! To Charlie! <laughs> Everyone, you better you better have yes. cheered with us. Yes! She said yes. I'm nervous now. I'm nervous that someone's gonna try and kill him, but I don't think it's gonna be Harriet. I think it's gonna be Rose or Ralph. Now, Harriet, if you will take this man through good times and bad. Look how nervous she looks. She looks so nervous. Something bad's gonna happen. I do. Oof. That took a little long there. Right. Does she know that she has limited time with him now? What's happening? Yes. Yes. Yes, this is what I need in my life. He sings this in Austin Powers. Is that a callback to this movie? I wouldn't really say this is dancing music. Commitment, finally you met the right girl. It's great. I mean, how could you have ever thought that this girl was a murderer? Well, the movie's not over yet. She can sing. Oh no, this is the song. This is the song. I forgot about that. And she can probably sing it in six languages. Oh, I'm really nervous now. I'm really nervous. Is she gonna whip out an axe? There ain't gonna be no axe a dent. <laughs> Why did you just say that? I was just, it was a joke. Why, why, oh no. Why, why did you say that? Oh no. She almost unintentionally murdered them. Picking your nose in a Ralph Elliott case. Well, yes, Captain. Don't yes, Captain! Oh my god, this is what he wanted. Wait a minute, Captain. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Trust me on this one. I know what I'm talking about. This is his moment. This is his moment. Well, she's confessed to the murders of Abraham Lincoln, Warren G. Harding, and Julius Caesar. She's a liar. She's a liar. She's a liar. She's a scoundrel. The real one is still afoot. It's probably Harriet now. I don't know what to think. It's fantastic. I don't know, uh, uh, the beginning felt pretty good. Yeah, yeah, it was great. That's I get too much. <laughs> Work on it because it was terrific. And, and honestly, it was such a big improvement. Fantastic. Thank you. <laughs> That's so funny. Look at this, look at this shot. I love the, what is it, like a matte painting in the background? It looks epic. Is that a storm? Yeah, it's a storm. We'll be all snuggly She's inside. so nervous right now. She's like, do I got my mini axe in my purse? No, I think I forgot it in the car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The circuits are down due to a storm. Well, keep on trying, right? You gotta run through a field chasing your culprit. Oh, the reveal. You don't have to go through with it this time. This one's Mike Myers. He's different. Actually, I have no concept of time. <laughs> I like this guy. Oh, yeah, yeah. I do this all the time. I've never done it at night. <laughs> oh, my God. I love that guy. Oh, why? You don't have to murder him. You don't have to. It's okay. Oh, that's not a good thing. How about a nice hand if you went for Mr. and Mrs. Seymour Levingstein? How about a nice hand? <laughs> yeah, congratulations. They said it was quite urgent. Oh, thank you. Sorry. Oh no, he's gonna get the news. Harriet is Mrs. X. She killed Ralph and those two other guys. Is, is she hearing? Is she hearing it? Thanks. Thank you. Oh no, the power's out. Oh god, he's all alone. Excuse me, sir. I'm with the San Francisco Police Department. This is official police. He's gonna commandeer the vehicle. No. I happen to know for a fact that you don't have the right to commandeer my vehicle. But you can get in, I can be part of the chase. You're just not gonna bend on this commandeering thing, are you? No. <laughs> Love and adore who I wanna share. Hey, this comes out enough of this crowd for one night. They got This is getting so intense. This is so strange. Stay for a night job! Oh. I too would run away. The axe. You take the axe first. Yes. Stay away from me! Charlie! Get away from what me! What are you doing? Come oh, she didn't murder them, maybe? Yeah, 
Yes, the guy's in the passenger seat. I love it. No, it's one of my favorite things. <laughs> this guy is the extroverter. It's too hard. Mm. Mm. I'm leaving you. Mm. Love, Charlie? It's Rose. I, oh my god, I was gonna say I knew it was Rose, but I didn't actually know it was Rose. I had to guess it was Rose, though. <laughs> yes, hit her. Why not hit her? <laughs> Break the door down. Open the closet! Oh my god, she's so creepy. Oh no! Oh! Oh no! This is so stressful. What the heck? Let's just take this down a notch. You can literally hear it. We can talk about this here, and we can talk about it downtown. <laughs> He's trying to be a cool movie cop. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, ow, no babies for him. Coming up. Hey, oh no. Oh, the reveal. Oh, this is so epic actually now. Oh, again. Oh man, this poor man. <laughs> <laughs> He's looking at the camera. <laughs> See you later, alligator. <laughs> drop her, drop her, literally drop her. Rose, jailbird. Yes, the Pope. I'd go to this club. Go. There she goes again. That movie was really good. And that was my reaction to So I Married an Axe Murderer, the 1993 comedy rom-com, I guess rom-com movie starring Mike Myers, Nancy Travis, Anthony LaPaglia, Paglia, I'm sorry if I butchered that name, and Phil Hartman. I really, really enjoyed that movie. I thought some of the jokes in that movie were really funny, and I really actually liked the drama of this movie, and also I found it kind of suspenseful because I wasn't really sure who the murderer was gonna be. I know I shouldn't have thought that it was Harriet, I just know I shouldn't have thought that, but some reason in the back of my mind, I was like, it it might be Harriet, you know, it might be the obvious choice, because she was so obvious that it was almost as if the movie was saying it wasn't her because she was so obvious. But at the same time, I've seen movies where the obvious choice is the killer, and the obvious choice is meant to be the obvious choice, so it puts the audience off because they don't expect it to be the obvious choice. So there was a little bit in me that was like, Harriet could be the killer, but most of me was going, someone else is probably the killer. But then at the same time I don't even know I be definitely believed at many points in this movie that Harriet could be the killer so I thought they did the suspense pretty well to be honest with you and the whole final sequence where they're in the house and stuff was pretty dramatic it was it was fairly epic and stuff and I thought a lot of the drama the character connections and just the characters in general I thought were really fun in this movie yeah overall I just really enjoyed this movie I was expecting it to be more of like a parody-esque movie in terms of like Austin Powers and stuff like that in Wayne's world those are the type of Mike Myers movies that I've been using used to watching at least in the present day or not the present day I guess but the recent future but this one was definitely more of just like a comedy film there was drama there was comedy there was Mike Myers there's some really good camera shots the soundtrack of this movie was bopping I I actually just really enjoyed this film so yeah let's get into the scores of this movie and then we're gonna talk about the soundtrack some of the camera work because some of the camera work in this movie was actually really good and I wasn't expecting that then we'll just talk into some of the jokes that I liked and I don't really have have anything that I disliked about this movie. I just had a, such a good time watching it. I had a smile on my face the entire time watching this movie, so I have no real complaints about it. I'm sure I could find nitpicks, but I don't really feel like that because right now I'm just in a good mood from watching this fun movie. So yeah, 6.4 out of 10 on IMDb, which is audience score, and 53% on Rotten Tomatoes, which is critics. So obviously it seems that audiences like this movie a little bit more than critics, and I feel like the critics are being a little harsh on this 
this movie. I don't know how people in general see this movie. I mean, judging by the audience scores, 6.4 is a decent score in general. It's like a fairly mediocre mid score, like a little bit better than mid. But it's also a comedy movie and you always have to remember with comedy movies, comedy is very, very subjective. It differs a lot between different people. And so one person would find this movie hilarious. Another person would find this movie not in the slightest bit funny. So you always have to remember that with comedy movies that scores of comedy movies are always lower or most of the time lower than many other genres out there. But yeah, I think I would agree with the audience on this one. I think a 6.4 to like a 7 out of 10 is where this movie kind of stands for me. I had a really good time. Is it a, like the most memorable movie of all time? No, but is it just a really fun, enjoyable film, I would have to say yes. I don't know how enjoyable it would be on rewatch knowing that because like, you know the twist and everything like that, that would be something that I would have to find out for myself or you could let me know in the comments. But I feel like it would be fun to watch on rewatch just because some of the jokes are really funny and seeing Mike Myers play the dad is just, is just the best. Okay, yeah, the score of this movie, or I guess the soundtrack of this movie was really good. It was just a lot of really good songs. They just pumped me up. They made me style. They played this one song like eight times throughout the movie. The song that starts the movie and ends the movie, they play it like every 15 to 20 minutes in the film. They just keep playing it over and over and over again. And you know what? I don't mind. I thought it was a good song. Can I remember any of the lyrics right now that now that I'm reviewing it? Nope, I cannot. But you know, I knew the, ly the lyrics to the song when it was on, I was singing the lyrics and stuff. But yeah, I just thought that the soundtrack in this movie was pretty, it was just kind of like happy and free of any weight, I guess. And that's kind of how I felt watching this movie in general. I just kind of felt happy and I could just be here sitting in this chair and just be happy watching this movie. That's kind of how I felt and I think the music added to that feeling as well. A lot of the camera work in this movie was actually really good and I wasn't expecting really good camera work, like dynamic movements, shots where the camera was moving down and up, left and right, through crowds and stuff like that. Like I was expecting these very static shots, like in Austin Powers, for example, the camera, there's nothing special that happens with the camera. All the comedy comes from Mike Myers, comes from the cast, mostly Mike Myers. He plays like two or three or four characters in every movie for the most part. But the camera work is nothing special. It's very static, it's very stale. It just It's just like there to show the sequence. Usually it's like a wider shot so you get all the body language and stuff. You know, that's how Austin Powers is filmed. Nothing very special. So I Married an Axe Murderer. The comedy isn't necessarily the central part of the movie as it is with Austin Powers. And so the camera work can actually start to do its own unique thing to make itself a part of the movie and to put its own influence onto the movie. Because if the camera work was really cool in Austin Powers, I think it would have overshadowed a lot of the comedy and you'd go, oh, cool camera work. Oh yeah, also funny joke. But in this one, you can have cool camera work and also have it coexist with these funny jokes because the jokes aren't the priority of the movie. It's a comedy movie, of course, but they aren't the priority of the movie like they are in Austin Powers. And we get some really interesting shots. The cappuccino shot at the start of this movie where we're, we become the cappuccino and then the, the cappuccino gets cleaned out and washed and then we become the cappuccino again when it gets refilled and then we walk through the crowd as the cappuccino all the way to the reveal of Mike Myers. It was a great reveal of our protagonist. I thought it was a really creative and clever way and then he makes that fun little cappuccino joke but also just the camera shot. Very creative. I've never seen a shot like that before where we're in the coffee but I really enjoyed it you know, camera shots like that, these very creative decisions that I think just really made the movie a lot better. If they were just very static shots, I think the movie still would have been funny. I still would have liked the romance, but the camera work really added this extra depth of life to the film. There were just moments, like very subtle moments, even when Charlie is just talking to his dad or the, the when we're introduced to their household, to Charlie's household for the first time and the camera is panning around to all the characters, to the mom, the dad, and that little like child slave kid who's just getting yelled at by the dad all the time to do things. The camera introduces us to that by moving very fluidly through the house, going to each character as they're doing these their own actions and talking to each other. It's very dynamic, it's very engaging. 
engaging. Again, we could have just had this static shot and let the comedy run the sequence, but we had this very dynamic camera work that made itself present in the sequence as well. And it's just something that I really enjoyed in this film. And that happened quite often or more often than I thought it was going to in this movie. And I really liked it. I, I loved a lot of the jokes in this movie as well. Some Everything that had to do with Scotland, <laughs> I thought was great. Everything that had to do with the Scottish dad, everything that he said about that kid's head being a planetoid with things orbiting around it and stuff like that. Everything that, that came out of that guy's mouth was pure and utter gold. I could listen to that Scottish Mike Myers old man talk all day all day and I would never get tired of it. Also, he sings that If You Think I'm Sexy song and he sings that as Fat Bastard as well in Austin Powers 2 and I think maybe Austin Powers 3 but I'm not sure. I'm wondering if in Austin Powers 2 if it's a callback to this movie that he sings that as Fat Bastard. Something I would like to just point out there and you guys let me know. But yeah, I thought the comedy was really engaging. It was really fun. It definitely didn't feel as goofy as Austin Powers or even really as goofy as Wayne's World, obviously because the comedy wasn't the main focus of the movie. It is a rom-com, so the romance aspect was also just as important as the comedy. However, the comedy was so funny. It was never dumb or dumb enough where I was like, oh, that's just like stupid. I just thought that all the jokes were really cool. A lot of it was very well planned out. Sometimes Mike Myers would look at the camera. I don't know if he was looking at the camera, but it looked like he was looking at the camera and I love those moments when he's in the butcher shop and he's looking at Harriet. I know he's looking at Harriet, but for some reason it felt like he was looking at me as he was like chopping up the meat and I, I just thought it was so hilarious. And I think a lot of the comedy just comes down to Mike Myers. He is obviously the linchpin in the comedy of this movie. Most of the comedy, if not all of the comedy, goes through Mike Myers at some point. Obviously we have that police guy, Tony, and he has his own sequences with his boss and that's really funny too. But a lot of this movie, the linchpin pin the comedic roundabout if you will is Mike Myers and he does an exceptional job his his facial expressions his body language the way he acts so cool reading those poems that are so bad it's just the best thing even just moving his hand on the beat when like when the band goes like the do 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 and he goes do 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 I don't know it just adds so much to his character it adds much so much personality and it's just so much fun there's so much energy that he has when he's walking around the park with Harriet for the first time when they start dancing and he's walking over like a ballerina it just makes me want to jump and become like a ballerina and it's all because of the way that he acts the way that he presents himself on screen and I think he does an incredible job I think he's very intelligent when it comes to comedy and what will make people laugh the most in a sequence no matter if the joke is super super dumb. So yeah I just talked about Mike Myers so I guess I won't talk about him again in the cast but I'll talk about Nancy Travis and Anthony LaPaglia. LaPaglia? LaPaglia? I'm pretty sure that's how you say it but I'm not 100%. Anthony LaPaglia as Tony I really enjoyed his character as well. I didn't know if I was going to enjoy him I thought maybe he was going to be a little stale but I liked his little arc as a police officer and I liked that his boss started to become really hard on him and then when he left when like Tony left he came back he's like oh you did a really good job and the boss is like oh you think so did I go a little hard in this situation like I don't know I just thought that was very clever and just a really fun thing to have and I like that he got to have his movie moments and even though it wasn't as dramatic as he was saying at the start of the movie it's still the jokes and what he wanted at the start of the movie still accumulated to something at the end so I really enjoyed that with his character and I thought he was really fun in this movie and finally Nancy Travis as Harriet I really enjoyed her in this film as well again I thought she was bad for some of it and she did a really good job teasing that she could possibly be bad but then at the same time like why would she I like there, there are definitely moments where she's acting all crazy but like why would she not have told Mike Myers sooner like by the time that he said that he wanted to marry her I'm pretty sure she knew that Rose was killing all her husbands because I don't think she knew before I think that she learned at some point during this movie she learned that Rose was killing all of her other husbands and so you know what that makes sense you know it makes sense why why she would be a little oblivious and stuff like that but she found out because the look that she had on her face during the wedding sequence and even when he asked her it, it just she definitely knew at that point so why not tell Mike Myers why not tell Charlie then you know I, that's something that I guess is a little weird to me but besides that I thought she was really good at playing this duel like is she bad 
is she good sort of thing, but also playing this very romantic love interest to Charlie. I found her very charming and I found her dynamic with Charlie also very charming. So yeah, that is my reaction and review to So I Married an Axe Murder, the 1993 rom-com. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much to these wonderful, beautiful, amazing people right here for supporting me and supporting my channel. It really does mean a lot. I think I'm going to be taking a break from Mike Myers for a bit. I actually don't even know what other Mike Myers movies there are. I've seen all the Shrek movies. Uh, I probably won't watch Wayne's World 2 on the channel. I know some people have been asking, but I don't think the demand is high enough for me to watch Wayne's World 2 on the channel. And yeah, I've, I, I don't know what other Mike Myers movies he's done. So let me know. Maybe I'll watch them, but I think I'll take a break from Mike Myers comedy for a bit. But anyways, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time for my next movie reaction.